Hello everyone, thank you for watching the show. If you have not already, please check out the previous episode, click the screen or click the link in the description. See you later! Alright everybody, here we are for episode 6. Last time we lost Mr. Jarrett, he has been overtaken by Rob, who is the winner of the UHC Free For All. So, down to Brian, Net, Rob, and Sea Dog, who is going to win. This challenge... I've and been Sander. Say, and Sander. <laughs> I, I exist too. <laughs> I am not going to lie, I... Anyway, alright, um, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> let me just come stand over here then. Um, hi. I, I, I can hi, Sander. Like okay. Here. So, uh, good to see you guys. Uh, this next challenge is in an off-site world, and we're going to go play Bingo. Bingo. Yes! Oh. Bingo. Was we'll be back <laughs> in a moment. Welcome to Bingo. This challenge will take place in an off-site world with our five remaining contestants. The first person to get a bingo will win. You get a bingo by getting five items in a row, vertically, horizontally, or diagonally in a straight line. The players choose which items to go for and have many different routes to take. The only person who does not finish their bingo board will be eliminated. Here we go! Alright guys, here we are for bingo. So they have the board set up here. They know how it works, and you guys have been explained on the introduction at the beginning there. So Rob got the advantage from last challenge and because he won, and he also got the bonus token. So he's going to use both of them this round, giving him a 10-second head start. Then Sander, Sea Dog, and Net will all go after 10 seconds, and then Brian will go 15 seconds after Rob. So everybody got all that? Yep. Yep. Okay, I think we are good to go then. Uh, Rob, your time starts in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, yeah. eight, nine, ten. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Brian, go. So Brian's got a 15 second hold back on all this. And uh, let's see. So Brian's. Just now leaving. Some of the guys are going off. Sea Dog looks like he's getting some birch wood. Uh, let's see, where's everybody else? Oh, that's me, um, Luigi's. Uh, it again? Oh, uh, Rob got the oh. bonus token again. Rob, you gotta relax, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's not healthy for you. <laughs> man, that is something else, Rob. Uh, crazy. So let's see, let's uh, <laughs> keep looking around here. Uh, I don't think anyone's run back just yet, no. Everybody's still running around. Let's see where everybody is. Uh, looks like Sanders killing a horse. <laughs> I'm just hoping this is one of the, you know, those weak horses, not the ones with like a gazillion health. Yeah. Uh, looks like Net is collecting some items. Getting a little bit of cobble. Let's Point nine PVP. So Sanders right over here. Jesus Christ. Net is breaking Die. some hunks. Uh Rob is mining up a little bit. Brian is. Killing something, I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> sea Dog is also mining. Or actually, I'm not mining, sorry. Looked like he was mining. And sea Dog getting some kills. I hate horses. Joke, I love them. It's okay. So remember, it's the last person to complete their thing to get a bingo. Is the one that's eliminated. Looks like Sea Dog's running back here, taking a look at what's on the board. Alright, Sea Dog placed down an orange tulip. Cobblestone wall. Birch wood, leather. Oh, and he's running back. All right, so he's missing the uh, B I N, the N on his bingo. All righty. Oh, Sanders coming back, placing down items. Looks like Sander got the carrot. Uh, Sander, you're placing your items in the wrong spot. From my perspective, this is the right spot. But <laughs> oh yeah, I, I see. I understand what you're doing, but uh, yeah. All right, so. Uh... Carrot, ladder. Excuse me, Ned. He's got an oxide daisy, a torch, and uh, 
Oh, he's going off another way now. He's got a pumpkin, a raw beef. Maybe you only have to get one bingo to win. Yeah, I know. Just making sure. All right, Brian's uh, coming in place tonight. Alexander just left. Brian's got cobblestone. Wait, what item do I need? Uh, Brian should double check and make sure he has the correct items. Orange tulip. All right. Well, that's a carrot. Yeah, I believe Brian uh, is mistaken on one of the items in this frame. Oh, and Rob's placing down items. Uh, he's got a carrot. He's got a ladder. Okay, he's got leather. I think a lot of people are missing the iron. I haven't seen any iron placed. Uh, yeah. Iron is annoying. Why did you have to add that? <laughs> Get to add a little bit of difficulty there. All right. So it looks like uh, we got Sea Dogs one away, and Brian is one away. Brian fixed his item. He's now one away. I have not seen Net since the beginning. Uh, let's take a look and see where Net is. Net's caving. Uh, Rob is running around here. Sander is underground. Uh, Sea Dog is also digging. Just popped into a cave. We are found a dungeon. Oh, a dungeon. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, got some good stuff in there. I don't know if any of it's gonna help you in survival, <laughs> but uh, probably not. I don't know. Maybe it will. <sighs> hmm. If only he could uh, do that. All right, let's see. Uh, Rob is digging around. Net is running around near the post. Uh, Sander looks like he went back, placed an item. Sander is now one item away on two accounts. Okay, well, might as well be. So he either needs uh, oak sapling. Or a water bucket. Very close. Which, of course, does not drop from this single tree. <laughs> Alright. So who's going to win right here? Uh, Net's coming back. Orange tulip. Cobblestone wall. Uh, oh, and looks like Sea Dog is the uh, has the advantage. Ooh. Net running away now. Uh, let's see. Sea Dog, you are safe. Go game mode 3. Uh, but hang out around here if you would. Free! I made it! Uh, all right, Sander is safe. Okay, Sander's in, so we're looking at Rob, Net, or Brian. One of you guys is going home. Who's going to get it? Let's take a look, see where Rob is. Rob is mining. Net is running around. Brian's back there. Net, he's coming back to the podium. Does he have the item, though? He's crafting. He's got a furnace. Uh -oh. oh, Rob is back on the surface. He's cooking. It's a cook race. Oh, but Brian's running back in. Oh, man. And Brian, Ra Annette is safe. Brian is safe. Rob uh. with the double advantage just <laughs> was... seconds away. Wow. That was Oh, close. my God. Net, net literally placed him, like and then I made that final jump in place. Rob wouldn't have made it anyway. That's a oh carry, not, not a tulip. Same thing though, right? No, uh, oh! No, Rob did, actually it. had the wrong item. No, it did. I, uh, he had it, but he didn't put it on it. Oh, okay. Wow. Alright, so that means Brian gets the disadvantage? Again. Yeah. GG. Man, alright. Well, uh, we'll be right back for the sentencing. That was so close. Alright, Rob. Unfortunately, could not quite make it this one. Just seconds away. Very, very close. Um, any final words for us, Rob? Uh, yeah, it's been fun. Um, I nearly got the iron, but yeah, GG to uh, it Net who came second fast. Yeah, so. uh, Br yeah, Net and Brian were right there. I think Brian actually got the disadvantage. <sighs> All right, well, uh, head on back to the back platform right over there, and your final task: collect the uh, the uh, what's it called void block out of the chest. If I get it, do I win the game? Yes, you do. <laughs> He's gonna get it. If I got one. <laughs> if there's a token in it, maybe he would have won it. <laughs> oh, that's right. He even thing. got the token for this one, and that will be gone with the loss of Rob. Rip. So, the final four. Sander, Sea Dog, Falcon, and Net. Who will be the grand champion of all of Strikeout? See y'all soon. Goodbye! On the next exciting episode of the Strikeout Game Show. This next one is a recreation of my favorite public server Minecraft minigame. We're gonna go play some...